Hey everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Claire and I'm the owner and creator behind CL Vintage Finds and this is Thrifted Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. I hope it's your favorite day of the week too. Um, I don't have a huge haul for you this week. I didn't even go out last weekend. There wasn't a lot of sales because it was Easter weekend. So I don't have a ton of stuff, but the stuff I do have is really good. And beyond that, I have some bonus items that I wanna keep every single one of them. I'm not lying. I really, really love them. They came out really good. And I can't wait to show them to you. So you'll have to stick around to the end to see those. And if there's anything that you're interested in buying, let me know. I'm not sure we have like a weird storm coming in this week and it's supposed to last a couple of days and it's gonna be rain where I am, but where my shop is, they're supposed to get a lot of snow. So I may end up going up to the shop early this week. And if I do that, I don't know that I'll have a Wednesday's Wonders. So for those of you that are local and watch me, um, you may, and you want any of these items, let me know as soon as possible. Cause definitely there's a bunch of them going up to the booth this week. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that's all the housekeeping items. Ranger is here. He's right over here. This is his nice warm blanket that he loves. So maybe he'll pop it at some point. Okay. First up, I grabbed this because I really liked it and it's Ray Dunn. It says trick or dog or trick for dog treats. I love it. You'd love it too, right? And so I'll have this in my inventory and I'll put it out around Halloween. But I think it's adorable. Very heavy. Did I say it's radon? It's radon. Okay. So speaking of holidays, I don't know if these are gonna pop on. There's four of them. They just have I haven't looked them up yet. They just have some little shamrocks and they are shamrocks. They're not four leaf clovers. And so they're just little cordial glasses. So I got a set of four of them and they appear to be in really good shape for now. I don't know, I was thinking I could do something fun with them next year for St. Patrick's Day or something, I don't know. Next up, these came from a friend who knows I like to use these little tiny, these are not full size like teacups or whatever. So she brought them to me for, you know, my little arrangements that I make, who knows what we'll do with them, but super cute. So this is one. And then this one, since you probably really couldn't see it, look at, uh, just so cute. A little um, teacup and saucer. So that's those for some kind of project. Next up again, I all these weird, well, I guess this isn't too far away. I got these because they're really cute. They're nice little um, carrots. They're originally from Pier 1. And, you know, it's hard to find cute little carrots. So these will go great in my um, little things. Okay, next up, these are Johnson Brothers plates. And I just thought they were really pretty. They kind of remind me of that pattern that I really liked out in the consignment shop that we were at not too long ago. I'm trying to think if this says the name of a pattern or anything. They are just John, the Friendly Vill Village is what it's called. And this is just a covered bridge. So that's that. I know I'm on a dish diet, you guys. You know, clearly I suck at it. But I try, I don't know, I just thought those were really pretty. I love the colors. And same with this one. This one's made in Italy. Um, let's see. Ceramica dishwasher and microwave safe. So it's not super old, but I thought it was really nice. And I like lemons. So for the summer, I think it'll be pretty. Um, next up, I got this little box. It's for seed packets. It says seeds on it, but I figured I could give this a little makeover, maybe still use it for seeds, but you know, we can do something to make it a little more special. So that's next up. All right, again, I kind of have a plan for these. They are very dirty, wood bases, you know, glass tops, but look how pretty. I have one of my candles with me to show you on another item. So look how pretty they look with one of these candles in them. 
So they're they're I don't know I, they're taped together right now. I'm gonna have to play around because they're kind of wobbly, and that always makes me nervous. But I'm sure I can find a way to um, you know tighten that up or something so it's I don't like it thing things when they're wobbly especially if someone's gonna put a candle in it so I'll have to work on that okay this I thought was just too pretty from what I can tell this might be from the late 1800s it only has a mark on the bottom but it's just an anchor and again there's it changed over time but there was a company called like anchor ceramics that had similar items so it may be from them, I don't know. So we'll see, but I just thought it was too pretty. And again, you know, think outside of the box. These don't have to just be a gravy boat. You can put florals in it, you you know, real or faux. And, um, you know, just do something really pretty with it. Next up, this is what I had the candle in. Um, one of the booths in my mall was going, she's moving out, so she had everything at 35% off, so I grabbed this. I kind of, because I liked these, I just think they're so cute around the candle. I mean, it comes off. And so I got two. I'll show you what I did. I made over the other one already. It's going to be one of my bonus items, so I'll show that at the very end. Still going on these items. Okay, so I got this at an estate sale. You know, I just thought it was fun for the summer, definitely with some florals in it. Um, I don't know what's up with that. But I like the birch wood. You know, it's very well made. And so, here's this side. I just, I love that the handle is twisted. Um, you know, branches. I, I don't know. Just loved it. Don't forget, in the comments, please drop me a comment. Let me know which item is your favorite. It can be from the thrifted items. It can be one of the item, the bonus items at the end. You know, something. Um, I'm not gonna flash you, but I just want you to see this is a smaller mirror and it's wicker, as you can see. And so I actually got a different mirror this week too that's a little bit larger and um, not wicker. It, it's plastic, which, I almost didn't get, but it's got some really nice details. It appears to have some age on it. And so I just think it's going to be really pretty made over. So we have that for you as well. Okay, next up, this, which I think I like the image, um, but I think if we make over the frame, it's just, it's just going to show a little bit better. So I grabbed it and it's made well. It's got a nice finished back and all that. So... That are we still doing? Yeah. Okay. Two more items. This came from the auction that I went to last week. These are not going to be for sale. I collect these, but I wanted you to see them. They're Servovsky crystal, and um, both of these are the same one. Look how cute. Um, this is Mo. Mo. Its name is Mo. He, it's a cow. I, I don't know. They're, it, it's one of their, it became one of their most popular and iconic. It's got like this tape on it right here, which I'm not sure why it has that tape on it. But um, so cute. It's so hard to show these so you can see them. So this is Sunshine Mo. Sunshine Mo was a originally an online, or not originally, was an online special edition that they did for collectors and um so i don't i think i did look it up but uh they i think they were originally like 90 dollars each or something like that and i think it was from around 2010 or 11 but this mo range stop licking these are all came with their original packaging, which is nice. Swarovski's crystal animals always came like with really nice um, packaging that kept them very safe. It has all of the original pieces that with you know that kind of certify it's um, real Swarovski. This one it had the original. The original price tag on it was like. 
285 or something, 245. This is Charming Mo Limited Edition from 2011. So this Mo is a little bit bigger. This is the lot number from the auction. But check out how big Mo is. So this one's pink and it comes with a little, Swarovski's crystals have been around forever. I have my grandmother's necklace that um, had actually broken and my mother sent it out to me when I was living in Las Vegas. I used to make jewelry and she sent it out to me. I matched up the Swarovski crystals as best as I could and finished the necklace for her. So um, anyway, this goes around his head. I'm sure it stretches on there. I don't really wanna do it right now, but you can, you can see how cute. And I guess this comes off too, if you want. I think I read that somewhere. Oh yeah, it clips on or off. It does, it has a little clip. So you don't have to have the little heart charm, but come on, how cute is that? So these are not gonna be for sale. I'm gonna keep them in my collection. Although at some time in the not so distant future, I probably will be, um, man, I don't know how to get them back in here now. I probably will be selling some of, not my personal ones, but some of the ones that I have kind of, I've, I've gone to a few estate sales and picked up some, so I don't have the packaging or any of that. So I probably will be selling some Swarovski, but if I do it, it's probably gonna be on my eBay. And um, that's just because I just feel like it's safer to do it that way. So, all right, let's get this guy back. Shouldn't be taking up video time with boxing time, but that's okay. Okay, so that's it for the haul. Now let's get to the items that I've made over. I'll tell you a little bit about them. I just don't know where to start. Okay, first up, perhaps you remember last week, I did. I made over the other bird image. If you guys remember, when I originally thrifted these, which um, they came this way and I didn't wanna change it up. I didn't, you know, I could put paper over the back, but I want people to see, look how pretty it even looks with that side with the blue. So I painted this frame blue to match with the bird. And I did a lot of things to this. It is painted, then I sealed it with a clear wax and then a dark wax because I really wanted it to still look aged. I slightly um, distressed it back just in some places around the edges and stuff. There was green and I think before it had been painted green it had been painted yellow. So, um, it, you know, it's not super noticeable, but I still wanted it to be just a little bit distressed. So this one is available and this will be headed, if it makes it that far or that long, this will be going up to my booth this week. So that's that. I'm going to wait on you. What am I going to show next? Okay. This is a piece I've had for, I think since last year, I got it at a, um, a local garage sale, I think, last summer, and I've just been saving it to try to figure out how to make it over. And um, I like this, you know. I just think it—it's it, weird when you when you add paint. It was two tone. It, it's it was it's like a crock, but um, the guy told me that he actually got it in Japan, so I don't think it's like an old, you know, crock. I just think it was a ceramic piece that kind of had that same vibe as old Crocs. So I just decided to paint it, um, seal it, and I added a transfer that says um, Paris Cafe. So that's that. Next up, this was a birdcage that, again, I think I got this at a garage sale last summer. You can open this little front thing. So this little front opens, but it also opens from the top. And I painted it. I antiqued it. I used some waxes to kind of, I wanted it to not look too new. It's got the little bird on the top. And then I married it with a, I think I just thrifted this last week, this, um, old stand and so you know thrift it take, took a couple pieces and i think made them into something awesome i think the birdcage was gray before 
I painted it white. So, um, you know, gray used to do really well for me and it just doesn't anymore. Okay, this one, um, this had been in my booth for a long time. Um, this is an old croc picture. Again, this was two-tone. I think it was brown on top and, and like kind of the cream color on the bottom. And it hadn't never sold. It had been in my booth since the beginning, so almost a year at this point. So I knew I wanted to give this a makeover. And, make, and I really wasn't sure that people would like it, but on my Facebook page, people have really been liking the pictures that I posted of it. I wanted it to look very, I wanted it to almost look like it was excavated or something. And, um, and a really, really old, so take an old piece and make it older looking. I, I stamped on this image. I then used the same, um, it, it's a blue stamp to just add some details around the top edges, bottom edges, and around the handle. And then I sealed this, I did so, oh, I, I'm, I'm missing out because when I don't have my glasses on, I can't see the details and it, it's hard for me to remember. But I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there's all kinds of, I used a crackle finish. So I got some really cool um, crackle finish, like little tiny chips so it looks like crazing. And then I added some crazing details. I really, really wanted this to look old and been around and, and rescued. So, and then I used a couple different types of waxes. I, I did a lot of layers. This is a very layered piece. I added texture in the paint, so I got some texture that way. I just wanted this to look really cool and really old. And then, like I said, I wasn't sure how people would feel about the grubbiness factor, but um, people have been loving it on Facebook. So the crazing just turned out so cool. Like, can you see that? Like right there, there's some really good crazing. So it's not everywhere. I did put that on everywhere, but it, you know, I don't think I put it on thick enough. So you didn't, I, it didn't show up everywhere. Okay, where am I at? All right. Some of these last ones are some of my favorites. So maybe you guys remember, I actually thrifted these within the last couple of months. They're little tiny bird salt and pepper shakers. So they still have their little plugs in the bottom. Uh, I still have to clean them. They still have sticker residue on them. But I, this is one of the items that I got this week at from the lady that in my mall that was um, leaving and had everything. So I got this little base. I attached a bird nest. To the bird's nest, I added some little, you know, just some florals, things that birds might already, or, you know, may put in their nests. And then down here is just some reindeer moss because you know how they always, you know, use really soft things on the bottom. So I just imagine this, like this is one of the items I really, really, I love that bird cage with the base. I'd love to keep that. This I would love. I would just love to have this on my table and, um, you know, have your salt and pepper shakers be, come on, this cute hanging out on your table. I just think it's adorable. You guys let me know what you think. I, I love this piece. I love it. So that's that. Next up is this. Okay, again, this piece I thrifted within the last couple of weeks. So you guys should remember. Um, I got to clean it again since I was working with it. But um, this was a hurricane that probably went this way in a candle base, kind of like these, you know, probably was on something like this. So I grabbed it. I, I made this top using clay. Then I finished it with, I, I had a different plan, but I ended up with this and I'm so glad I came up with this. If you can see the floral detail. So to me, it looks like terracotta, um pots but and then look at the very top i just love it then i made a base for it so this base i finished it the same with the same color i wanted it to look like terracotta i added this lavender image i added feet 
And so check it out. It's just so pretty. And I'll show you how I styled it um, with one of my rabbits that are available. I have some here in Schenectady if you want one, or there's a couple up in my booth as well. But just look how adorable this looks with the bunny in it. And then I just threw a sprig of um, lavender in it as well. So love it, love it, love it, love this piece. All right, I think this is it. I have one last piece to show you and then that's gonna be it. This one is not available for sale. To be honest with you, I'm not sure. I, I, for the amount of time I, of work I put in it, I'd never get my money back. I can tell you that for sure. So I'm gonna keep this piece. As you can see, the top of this piece, I believe it's oak, but it's very warped. I'm sure people used it for plant stands or whatever. And I had to fill, you know, use filler and fill in a lot of the top. I used Bondo to fill it in, but you can still see the oak wood grain. And it originally, I mean, this is an old piece. It's a really old piece. It was yellow. Um, so, and then under the yellow was green. So I did a lot of work to this. I added this beautiful daisy image and it has a poem on it as well. And I, I sealed this with, um, I'm not done. I'm still layering on top coat. I sealed it with a outside, you know, water resistant, um, probably not waterproof, but an outside, so super durable. Cause I still think it could be used as a plant stand. I, um, distress this piece so there's places where you can see like the yellow and the old the green underneath that the green that i chose number one goes with my kitchen which is green but number two um i think it's kind of an old you know an old timey color so love it love it love it um so i'm keeping this one Daisies are one of my favorite florals, and I had an Aunt Daisy that I just loved, so it just reminds me of her. That's it, everybody. That's this week's haul. I hope you, and bonus items, I hope you loved it as much as I do. If you're still watching, do me a favor. I just want to know who watches to the end. Drop me a flower emoji in the comments if you watched all the way to the end. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being you. So much love to you. Until next time, you have a good one.